Okay, Robert N. Izumi, R-O-B-E-R-T-N-I-Z-U-M-I. And then if you could briefly describe your service, your branch, the conflict that you served in. <clears throat> I joined the service in September 1944, stayed in the service until 2007. I was with the All-American, Japanese-American outfit in uh, September 44, and fought in France with them. Then I transferred into the 101st Airborne in uh, November 44, and I went to Bastogne in December, and fought in Bastogne until uh, end of the end of the conflict in uh, 45. From there, I, from there we went into uh, Reims, France. Reims, France went into. Uh, The Rhine River, then from the Rhine River, <coughs> uh, we went into Hagenau. We liberated the last concentration camp in uh, Germany. And from the Hagenau, we went into Birch's Garden, Hitler's hideout. From Hitler's hideout, our output went into uh, uh, Saalfelden, uh, Utendorf, and the war ended at that time, and then we, our outfit went to uh, John A. France and made our last jump in France. And the higher pointers went home, but I, I volunteered to stay with the, with the outfit and went to uh, the 508th uh, Parachute Infantry Regiment and uh, became the Special Guard for General Patton. And uh, I helped make the uh, jump school with uh, Hmm. I'll think of the name. With the colonel's name, I forgot how to think of it. And I stayed with the 508th until I decided to come home, and God came home and '46. And I'm getting too old. And in '46, I I got out of the army, and I transferred into the Army Air Force, and into the Air Force, and, and then into the Marines. I stayed with the Marines for 30 years, so I got 60 years all together in the, for the government. What does Rancho Remembers mean to you? What was that? What does Rancho Remembers mean to you? Sorry. Rancho Remembers being here, what does it mean to you? Well, it means a lot because the youngsters nowadays, to me, don't remember what happened during the war or Korea or Vietnam. Uh, and, the young, and the youngsters here today uh, <clears throat> will learn about World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. And uh, it's, it's, it's wonderful to see that. Even the two young ladies, uh, they didn't know parts of what happened, and now they understand. And I hope that they will give this on beyond their point, but it, does, it doesn't happen. I don't think the youngsters know what, uh, what war is and what we did. And uh, I think it, it goes over their head, and they, they don't seem to understand it, to give <coughs> what, the, what the veterans did for them. And that is, it's pretty rough. It's, it's uh, and then Korea is the same way. That, whew, okay, uh, I saved quite a lot of children, and I've got the certificate of uh, hmm, human. I don't know what it was. And I've got a, from Park Jung Hee, the uh, 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 from the president, and then I. Uh, and in Vietnam was just as bad. Uh, <clears throat> the worst one in Vietnam was tried to bring back two nuns and 20 children. Anyway, we went back the second day to pick them up, and they were massacred. I can see the chillers lined up. 
So anyway, so I stayed in the service until 2005, and uh, other veterans should be honored, not me. I didn't uh, get, and I got the Medal of Honor from the President Obama, and uh, that was good. But other pr other veterans should get veterans should get honor just as much as me or more. But I hope the youngsters, young generation, the young generation that you're not kids anymore. A kid is a is an animal. I get mad when when somebody say, "Hey, kid, come over here." And I would go up to the man or the lady and say, "Don't call him a kid." Uh, and I'll ask them, "Do you know what a kid is?" He says, "No, I says, a kid is a goat, and and that that child is not on his four wheels, on his four legs." So that's very bad. It's, it's, he's a young man or a young woman, grown to be a, a leader or whatever in the United States or beyond that point. I don't know. Um, Do you have anything else that you would like to share or say in regards um, to your service or to Rancho Remembers? No, it's it's, a, it's an honor to be here to see all the, all the other veterans. There's not too many World War II veterans. There is the man that was they took part that was in. Uh, I I like to meet him. He's he's here. He, he the, the the MC uh, uh, mentioned his name. So and my psychiatrist is here with me. He he knows him. But I like to meet him because he was in in the Battle of the Bulge the same time I was. He's here today, and I'm going to back. I'm going back next week, back to Holland. Mm -hmm. They're going to honor me there, and then in January, oh no, December, Helen Patton, General Patton's daughter, granddaughter, or daughter, daughter, is going to honor me there, and they're going to make a wax. I don't know what he called. And wax me. Wax me. Mm -hmm. and I, mm -hmm. I hate to do that because. Yeah, I'm going to make a statue of me. So, other oh, veterans. There's only one veteran there that uh, he looks so authentic. And I, he and I were uh, uh, replacements in in Bastogne. And you can walk into this uh, museum there, and you can see him standing there, and he looks so authentic. I feel like you should give him a hug. But they're going to make one same, and they're going to be put me next to him. And uh, they're going to honor this gentleman. At Chino, and I was supposed to go there, but I'm, I'll be in uh, I'll be in uh, Chino to receive the uh, Kennedy Award from uh, Helen Patton, and that's the highest award. But the four chaplains from World War II was killed on the ship, on the I told him on the battleship, and I forgot the name of the the uh, astronauts, and I think. Uh, one well, two presidents were honored with this honor, and they're going to honor me with that. But like I say, the other veterans should be just honored just as much. I'm, I, 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 I don't think I'm that much of a hero than any other veteran. <laughs>